Hello and welcome to Long Time Messy, the podcast coming to you from Gold Diggers Recording Studios in Los Angeles, California. We'll be getting to know some of your favorite comedians a little bit better, and so will they. Each week's guests have no idea who the other guest will be, so without further ado, please remove your blindfolds and introduce yourselves. Hey. Hey. Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, how are you? What's up, dude? What's up? Hi. Hey, it's Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> JD Witherspoon, what's poppin'? How are you? Uh, All right, we're I'm gonna good. Start nice and this fast. Is... Uh, what was your most recent bomb, and how did it compare to your worst? Oh, I ain't been bombing recently. I've had some good shows. I don't, I... <laughs> what a <laughs> pathetic answer! What a fucking <laughs> yeah, yeah. come on, <laughs> shut up! You got, no, you got comedy. You don't have you don't have like recent? a recent bomb that comes to mind. The crowds are bombing. I'm doing a good set. I okay. Don't know. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. Know yeah. About, like a recent one? Um, oh, no, no. You know what? Because I have like I have like a big bomb story in my head. I'll that, let you go that like, I, got, I got like a short one. I take went, a while. I went, and, um, I went and did a set this recently in New York at uh, The Stand. And I think like it was, it was, it was, it was like a bomb because I was uncomfortable because I didn't realize who was on the lineup. And the show and all that shit. Not that that really matters, but I kind of just got up there in New York with like not as much enthusiasm and confidence as I do out here. And I, I just kind of was. I went about it pretty shittily. So it just it wasn't a great set. Mm. Yeah. Oh well, I but compared to your but like work. compared to a bomb, like I've bombed once at fucking the improv in front of D Ray's crowd. That was a bomb. <laughs> oh yeah, that was black people. Looking what ha- at me what like, happened? Mm, we don't fuck with you. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> I made him. I, that was that's a, that's an old set. That was that was probably that's one of the most recent. That's not recent, but that's one of the bombs that I remember the most vividly because he said that was the most traumatic one yeah you know you know monday race he does his yeah show i'm on familiar monday. yeah, yeah. He, he asked me if i wanted what, to do was it always what, what did it used to be called i don't know before his him i'm not sure no because it well wait do you remember do you remember it was it always called monday race i think for his show i think so because i i like i'm trying to think of because like what, what they do like uh was it what is it it's like um Sunday, what is it? What's chocolate the laugh act? Chocolate, yeah, yeah, yeah. chocolate Sunday is what These they do. The black laugh show, actor, right? <laughs> right. Obviously, don't. Know yeah, much yeah, about yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they did chocolate Sunday, and then the comedy store had one, right? They still, or they still uh, do. They used to have one on Tuesdays. That one got shot up, and somebody was murdered. One oh, night. I was on that. I was on that show. Red Grant used to have a show there. Fuck. This is like 2014. Somebody put a hit out on someone. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it was super random. And I guess they were at our show, and then whoever it was probably went to go smoke a cigarette on the patio, and then yeah. out of nowhere, like a, uh, like a what do you call them, mm. little cars? A Prius pulled up. Somebody got out, shot him. Dude died in, like, Josh Nasser's arms. And Jesus then, and Christ. Then they, and then they drove off, and that was the last time they did that show. But they still have Crack'em Up Thursdays. Which crack Em Up Thursdays. That's, that's their black There's show. There's that one photo of uh, uh, Slink. Slink, Slink Johnson, Johnson with the... Home. the where he has the oh yeah yeah <laughs> that was the, in, was that the OR was that the belly the room? burner I believe it was the the belly room but yeah the yeah, I mean did. the more important details that <laughs> he just well he was like oh was my like, bad y'all never do that again. <laughs> yes. I, I thought y'all was a real ass crap <laughs> no it's a, it's yeah. really good it's like he posted some photo that's like it's like a TBT oh no I remember like, seeing it yeah yeah yeah, yeah for those who don't that, know Slink Johnson is also Lamar Black Jesus Black Jesus but yeah. but his main I would say credit for people who are younger you know him from Grand Theft Auto Five he plays Lamar mm, yes. in the game. He's the dude who's like, hey, quit tripping, man, blah, 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 yeah. uh, BH, all the, he, he's just a very funny <laughs> West Coast dude, but yeah, no, that's, that's the homie, he's cool peoples. Um, no, he's the man. Yeah. Um, I'm, well, the most, I'm, tr- I feel like the most recent bomb, um, I'm trying to think of, oh, it's like, it was, I mean, this is like, uh, does it count if it's like, if the crowd <laughs> is just bad, if you're that's like set up? Uh, if it's right? like, if it's know. like, well, this was a fucking setup. <laughs> this is like, it's not my fault. But I mean, like the the biggest, like the biggest bomb I can think of. That I, I'm like trying to make the short, so the story as short as possible. I've told it at length um, on podcasts in the past, and I encourage you to listen to the full story because I know we have rapid fire. It's a, like a rapid fire thing, but it was like some college show that I was booked last minute for that 
um they didn't tell me it was like spirit week so it was like families were there oh. you know families were there and it was like it was also it wasn't explicitly explicitly marketed as a comedy show oh. like it was like me and a magician <laughs> Oh, and I was oh, like, no. I was supposed to do an hour. Uh, they cut me off after eight. <laughs> what yeah. the? Damn. This is like, we gotta. You need to. I. I. Bro, I roll I, out that magician. Guy I know. I told the. I tell the, the. It's like a. It's a long story. Like That's it crazy. is like. It's a long story. I just told it on uh, my buddy's podcast, the Zach and Waleed show, and then also there's like a full episode of my podcast where it's like one hour because it's a tale. It's a tale. There's a lot. There's a, a lot a, of like I want to go listen prologue and epilogue here. Were you before or after? Um, the position? I was before, and I was also. Uh, oh, hell yeah! You there's were. a lot of play here. There was like I was not. Uh, I I was like, oh, when do I get introduced? And they're like, oh yeah, they they said your name a couple minutes ago. <laughs> so I like walked out, and it was like <laughs> I like walked out. I was like, wait, wait, did they did they introduce me yet? And like that's like how it starts, and then I have to like. It's all it's how all long, bad. How long into this is you? Is this recent in the sense of this like is like doing, last year? <laughs> oh, okay. So yeah, you've been this doing comedy like last for a while. Year. Like, yes. It's not like you you were the yeah. problem. Wait, no, wait, this is like last year. Okay, not to make the story longer. What's the bit that made them tell you, "Hey, it's time"? Um, I can't tell if it's the one about me getting like circumcised at Claire's or something. <laughs> I don't know. It's like maybe it was that. Was there I don't something know. specific there that something made them that was... pull you eight minutes in? Uh, it was all like it was everything. It was I, I think there was like a lot of miscommunication, and uh, yeah, I mean it's a long, it's like a long story. Like it would have to, I, I, yeah. I want to listen to it. <laughs> there's a lot. There's a lot. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to. I Jack has these, you know. Jack has an agenda. How? By the way, how how great would it's like? It's fu- it's you know like I how come many, in. How many eyes have come in this with is the? My well, I I I was like. I was kind of curious who would be on the other side, you know, because it's like, okay, it's oh, it's JD. I I know JD yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah. All right, you know, like we, you we know, shows. we say yeah, we say hi if we're on the same show. We've you know, yeah. we've had a couple substantive conversations. I would say. Yeah, yeah. But uh, what if it was like fucking? You you open it up. It's like Michael Richards. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question. Uh, If you could recast your favorite movie with comedians, who would be in it now? Oh, hmm. But, like, what, like a serious movie? It doesn't matter. It can be a funny movie or a serious movie. But then if it's, uh, you know, I think as a, I think I feel like opposed to remix (laughs) as a whole. (laughs) Like, I, but, no, I can, I'll let him answer the question and then I'll, like, Try to think. My favorite movie. I don't even know what my favorite movie really is. Uh, favorite movie, but recast it with comedians. That yes. sounds interesting. Maybe. Mm, what's I, I'm not. I'm not one of those movie people who's like, oh man, I could watch this twelve times. Uh-huh. After I've seen it once, I'm like, that was cool. That's it. You oh know? hell no, I hyper fix it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what What's your favorite movie? Maybe Spring Breakers. Spring Breakers. Yeah. Um. Like the long goodbye is a good one. Okay. Um. Hmm. I mean. <sighs> I feel like, like if I'm thinking like AAA movies, I I mean I feel like it's such a stupid question. It's just one of the movies that I always think about, like Inception. But like Ooh. that would comedians? Mm. That'd be fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, uh. Yeah. Inception. Inception. But it's all. It's all the. Um, it's uh, it's it's all the Austin, red band guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like it's yeah. Uh, yeah. Nah, like, like it's yeah. the, all the all the all the like tertiary kill Tony guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Tony Hinchcliffe can be uh, uh what's his name? Jo- Joseph Gordon Levitt. Yeah, we could we couldn't get him. We had to settle for Hans Kim. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll do the next question. If you can wake up tomorrow having gained any one quality or ability, what would it be? One quality or ability if I woke up tomorrow. Uh, I would like to I you know what? I'd like to I'd like to be like a uh, proficient like singer. Like I got I already have a decent oh, yeah. I, I have a decent voice, but I'd like to 
I don't know how to I don't know how to sing. I know how to mimic singers, mm -hmm. but I would mm -hmm. like to be able to just be like, oh, oh, oh yeah, I can fucking like belt it out, and yes. next thing you know, I'm somebody's just like, hey kid, you're a star. We need I would to love, get you I would love studio. the ability to write a chart topping. Hit single. <laughs> <laughs> you got that but already. I, That's not I, hard to do. <laughs> if I didn't, if, if I, I would, you know those ads, you know those ads where it's like, uh, where it's like, um, uh, on porn, uh, porno websites, where the ads come up and it's, uh, it says, uh, it's like, ugly, <laughs> like ugly oh, yeah, women, women want to fuck <laughs> right now. <laughs> I would I would have the ability to bring them to me right now. I would I would not even have to click any hyperlinks. I would I would close my eyes. I'd open them and they would be right there. And then you write them a song. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I would love that would be lovely. Because I'm like you just yeah. glossed over that. Oh thing well that yeah no it's not yeah I'm not putting it out. I'm just saying <laughs> <to this, laughs> it's just for that. These like. Oh uh, yeah, these ugly, horny women. <laughs> Yo, those, I'm just serenading them. Those are the funniest ads ever. Ugly, horny women yeah. in your area right now. You gotta. Well, I mean, click when, this link when you're called to action. <laughs> when duty calls. What do you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what? When is... your nation calls upon you <laughs> to fuck ugly, <laughs> horny women in your area, what are you What are you gonna do? I don't know why they have to have to expand on the ugly part. It's like... <laughs> no, they always... Uh, I guess... They, I think they're just like, set your expectations. The, uh, yeah, the implication is that, like, well, they don't... They don't have any options. So you're... <laughs> you are some, you know... You're some, uh, fucking Not enough loser. ads. I'm not enough ugly dude ads. We're the ugly dude ads. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's, you know... It's or maybe that's us. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. They, because they're yeah, on the yeah. other they're end. Like, we know you no, ain't got they're, on, they're on, they're on, they're on, they're, yeah, they, they see an ad. It's uh, like ugly men. They're, they're, they're yeah. like, you guys don't need the ad. Yeah. We, we, we got you. We got you. Uh, what is something you wish other comedians would stop doing? Hmm. Uh, I wish other, I wish and no disrespect to other comedians. I wish my friends who are comedians would stop posting their clips in horizontal format with the black bars. That's just mm. a, that's that, that's not even it's not even a, a comedian gripe. It's more of yeah. a it's a technical like editing gripe just for me. I'm just like just just pinch and zoom. Just zoom in. I don't know. Or or, or be aware that like you maybe don't post clips that don't look and sound good because even if the joke's really good it's like somebody's gonna we're just gonna swipe i don't know i th i think the problem is like sort of dead end crowd work clips yeah where it's like I there's there's like there's guys who are good at it there's there's guys who are good at it but like the oversaturation of the market has yeah. just made it so that i i think people feel like they have to do that yeah and so then there's clips of just like you know oh what's oh you wor where do you work oh i work at the store oh yeah, it sounds like a dumb fucking job or <laughs> yeah, whatever. And, then, and it's and like, <laughs> there's no, yeah, I don't know. Like, there's guys who are good at it, but then now I feel like retroactively a bunch of comics who are not crowd work people yeah, they have just get a moment. tried to, like, retroactively fit the fucking square, you know, square block into the round hole. Mm -hmm. And it's best to just not, I mean, the the whole the game as a whole is like yeah it sucks i don't know yeah, yeah. I, I feel like i have clips like that where sometimes i sit back and i'm like i'm just posting this like i don't yeah it might be good still but my but my brain is just like mm. i feel like it's made the whole medium uh more disposable no for sure i mean i think it's also just confused crowds in general they think that that's stand up now oh they also yeah it's made crowds worse yeah it's actively like made yeah. crowds worse mm hmm for sure, the curation of it has made crowds think like, oh, this is what you do at comedy shows. You, yeah, no, it's like you, incentivized you, and rewarded poor behavior. Yeah, it really has. It's weird. They don't realize that it's like, oh, no, no, no. This is just a, like a subgenre of stand-up yeah. comedy. Like, stand-up comedy is you shut the fuck up. We tell funny shit, but and you laugh. That's not, you know, yeah. They've, they've been trained poorly. Yeah, this got sad just now. We got real sad about how our careers are going. <laughs> the trajectory. Uh, if you weren't in comedy, what would you be pursuing? I'd probably work at GameStop or something. <laughs> to be honest. I, I can see that. I don't you got, you got big GameStop energy. I don't have I don't have I, like also, yeah. I didn't really like uh I don't know, did you go to school and everything? I went 
I mean, I finished high school and I went to college for like three years and I got out. But you didn't graduate. You don't no. have a diploma. No, because it was a waste of time for what we were doing. I was right. like, I was like, I don't need that piece of paper to to. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, no. I do need that piece of paper now because I've been on LinkedIn. A lot of them want that piece of paper. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A lot of them been on, <laughs> and I and uh for really stupid jobs too. I think it's yeah. almost. Well, you know what. It, they do and they don't like uh because i've just been looking for more stable work because uh, entertainment sucks but and entrepreneurship is a piece of shit but um <laughs> they've i've seen like a few jobs where it's like it, uh, if, however many years of experience a minimum of a something bachelor's degree but then they'll also say at the end of it like hey but if you didn't graduate it it's okay <laughs> they'll be like right. don't don't feel like you shouldn't submit i'm like well, make up your mind. Do you want? <laughs> yeah, because like, because you can get a person with a piece of paper who's Wait, what terrible. Kind of, what kind of work have you been looking at? Anything, anything that's yeah. in the realm of uh, anything in the realm of stuff that I know how to do, like uh, right. hosting, voice acting, podcast production, mm. uh, gaming related stuff, stand up, obviously. But yeah, uh, were you a big gamer? Yeah, do you game? Because you were talking about no. Well, game I style. just no, I I don't game, but I'm a gamer ally. <laughs> gamer ally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I. I like video games. Yes, do you I do, do Twitch? I do. I was just I was talking to them right before this. The company, um, yeah. Give like them I'm my number. Gonna I need, do. I need yeah. a job more than you. Do. <laughs> I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start doing Twitch. Yeah, I can't. Wait, or, who were you talking to, or what about someone? Uh, just from like Twitch? they're like, yeah, like they're like setting up my account and everything. Like it's like I have to do like 20 hours a month, and then they give me. It's like, you know. They you get, should, you should, yeah. They give you, you a deal? Yeah. How'd yeah. you get that? I don't know. They emailed. How did they, how <laughs> they meet you? They just emailed me. They just randomly emailed you? Yeah. I need to, I need to see this email yeah. on top of that yeah. uh, podcast clip yeah. about that. <laughs> yeah. you off. Um, I've been doing this dumb ass shit for years. I ain't getting no you, fucking email. You game, you game on there? All the time. Hell yeah. What do you play? Uh, I mean, the other day I was playing this game, Bomb Rush Cyberpunk, which have you ever played? Dreamcast when you were a kid? Of course. Oh, dude, I was a big Dreamcast kid. I was you a big jet set Sega radio. does what Nintendo don't. This is true. Yeah, <laughs> Do you, you remember know. Jet Set Radio? Uh, yes, of okay. course. So yeah. Jet Set Radio hasn't been made since 2002, Jet Set Radio Future. There's a company or a produce, excuse me, they're a gaming development company called Team Reptile, and I think they're in Amsterdam or something. But they went out of their way and just said, well, if y'all ain't going to make a third version of this game, we'll make it. And they yeah. made a game called Bomb Rush Cyberfunk, which is a genuinely like a spiritual successor. Right. And it that's cool. Oh, it's that's do, awesome. It's dope as shit. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. I was there was uh what a, what a, I played I played a lot of like Sonic Adventure. I played a lot of like Hell Crazy yeah. Taxi. Hell yeah. And like the original 2K stuff. Rumble, Ready to Rumble. Box yeah, stuff. Ready to Rumble. There was like the guy with the the Afro. The Afro. Michael Jackson was in the game. Michael Jackson was, was in he that. Was, he was the secret character in the se in the second one. Fuck yes. Yeah. I there's like a, there's you played well you played Michael Jackson Moonwalker. Oh yeah yeah I yeah. played that like more actually recently back in like 2018 or 19. Yeah. I like I think I just emulated it and I did a video like a retro game video. Oh it's hella funny. It's like that game is so funny. It's why you save Michael, kids. Michael. Yeah <laughs> Michael, <laughs> you Michael, save Michael that, you save, you save a bunch of little over. kids. Yeah you get you only get points if you rescue the boys. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Uh, but it's a good yeah it's a good game it's a good movie as well yeah yeah it's a, yeah yeah it's a good it's a it's a great movie it's actually it's like very like visually stunning he was trying to do that back yeah when, back when he was like it's he... like it's it's the um like the latter like the the second half it's like Joe Pesci mm -hmm. uh kidnaps these kids Michael has to save them but the first half of the movie is just sort of a long like music video anthology and uh it's awesome yeah and also then he, and then he turns into a fucking gundam at the end yes he turns into a, yeah. mech, a transformer which you can do in the game will. yeah yeah mm -hmm. you can become mecha michael have you ever played the one that was in arcades or? yes yeah that exactly. was actually that was the four player one i went back because i was like because they have it at button mash in echo park it's this like mm -hmm. barcade and i was talking about it with you know brent weinbach yeah, yeah, yeah. He he was like, "Oh, have you seen the movie?" Mm -hmm. And so then I went back and I watched the movie. Um, and yeah, no, I love the arcade version. That's the version that I played yeah. the most. And I also, I mean, you think he? Do you think he did it? <laughs> um, I don't. I no, I, don't, I do think that he maybe just likes sleeping in bed with kids and we can just we can cut this we can actually we can actually <laughs> we can keep, absolutely can cut this I, I you think, can cut this but i don't fully think that. i think he was unfortunately 
um, just emasculated at such a young age yes. by his parents. And I think there was a lot of parentifying happening there at a certain age where he had to take care of his family as the main star. Yeah. And I think he never got to experience a real childhood. So unfortunately, yeah. he did not grow as a human as as he got older. Yes, he was. So I think his growth was stunted. So he just yeah. wanted to be like a grown child. A hundred percent. And then I, I would hope that he did not do any of that stuff. I don't think Bec- he, Well, don't first think off, it's been rebuked by most, yes, if not every person. Yes, I'm so much better than you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know you are. <laughs> yes. I forgot. He does. You do, you're, you're one of the comics that does bits all the time. I'm right? literally, no, I'm literally <laughs> totally with you. I'm not doing a bit. Oh, it's just your character. All I'm right, literally so, not doing a bit. No, but no. I mean, because there, yeah. there was like those two dancers who came at him and they made the documentary. Yeah. Everybody refuted that. And yeah. then you have like Macaulay Culkin even saying he's like, yes. dude, nothing happened, and I was right. like one of the main kids in his life, like yeah. you know. Yeah. And then I think there was that other little uh, black kid that he was with back in the day, but he was like a like a growth stunted, like a what's it was it what you talking about Willis? But he wasn't that guy, but he looked like um, him. Um, Gary, not it, Gary Coleman. Oh not, no, not uh, Coleman, but the what was the first one? Oh. Emmanuel, Emmanuel Lewis, Lewis. Thank you, thank you, yeah. Emmanuel Lewis, but he doesn't. Yeah. He, he wouldn't fuck the black ones if he had to. So, <laughs> but no, I de- I genuinely think that he was just mentally and emotionally traumatized from a yes. young, from a young yeah. Age. No, he was abused. He yeah. was like abused as a child. Yeah. He was like abused. He was the cash cow, stunted, all that stuff. I, yeah, I, I feel like that from just a mental health perspective. Right. I think, I think he's one. I think he is the greatest artist of t- of all time. Yeah, and you know. Uh, the caveat of that is like uh, he's he's a weirdo. <laughs> of course, uh, yeah, and you that's get a weirdo the, no. Who I puts do his baby think that like, yeah, you know, like, like I do <laughs> think that he I I yeah he was like a, a Peter you know Peter Pan syndrome. I went to his fucking ranch. But you went to Neverland I, Ranch. I wasn't one of the babies. I wasn't. When did you go? My, well, listen, he wasn't there. So yeah. let's let's, uh, let's, <laughs> okay. let's put that out there. I got yeah. a friend of mine who his mother was a uh, and is a uh, dance choreographer mm-hmm. in Los Angeles. So she actually had a um like a non-profit that she runs and she still does it to this year um which is like a little beauty pageant that she does for young um black girls african-american black girls or uh and whatnot i I forget it's called little miss african-american she does it every single year and she had a field trip that she had scheduled where um all of the girls who were this is like the early 90s yeah and the only boys who were there were me and my her son who's my best friend and um they, I guess, through a mutual friend, they were like, "Do you want to take, you know, take your group of kids to Neverland Ranch? They can go on all the rides. They can watch a movie." Yeah. Michael's not in town because he's on tour, but you know, he's. He, what year was this? This has got to be like '96 or '7 okay. or something like that. Yeah. And we were like maybe eight or nine years old. Yeah. But uh, we went there. It was cool. It was fun. It was yeah. definitely a kid's dream. Yeah. Yeah. But yes, now as an adult, no, it's awesome. No, right? it's fun. I, I think, but at the same time, I'm like, as an adult, I wouldn't want that shit. But he obviously wanted to be a kid very desperately and never got a chance to do. Yeah, that. that's we, what it seems like, like. I mean, um, what what was there? There was like, there's like a Ferris wheel. There was there was like multiple rides that you would see at like carnivals. There's like ten carnival rides. Yeah, right? there was like a what do you call? There was a Ferris wheel. There was like the what's that? The what's Scrambler. That? merry-go-round yeah. uh, scrambler type energy um there was also one of those like big slides where you wear the sacks and you go down oh, great. there yeah. was like i think there was like a little like zoo that he had there we watched yes oh, it, whatever whatever the year yeah. the movie jack came out right with robin williams was yeah. that it was that year because we watched it in the theater yeah and the theater was stacked full of free candy and food and shit fuck yeah yeah it that was sounds, dope yeah and they had a little train that goes around like it's disneyland that's nice yeah and if it's it like got, an arcade it, they, I think they definitely had a video yeah. game arcade, and if it went deeper, like into a house where there were bedrooms, we never went that far. <laughs> right. We had lunch outside, <laughs> like it was a field trip and all that stuff. Yeah. And Have I you mean seen that Simpsons, huh? That Simpsons where he's he's he voice he's like, he's a voice in it, but he's uncredited. I haven't. Oh. It's like Bart's friend or something. Wait, wait. The, oh, the dude was playing a piano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like he sings dude, in it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. It was the Happy Birthday yeah. Lisa. That yeah. episode. Yeah, I yeah, remember. Really was good. that that was him. That was Michael. Yeah, that was. That him. was Michael. He was yeah. like a big. He was like uh, a fake. Uh, what's it called? Type of character like uh, Stevie Wonder. Almost. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I remember I heard a story. Uh, I heard a story that he like came in with like his own script. <laughs> like he oh, like had like an idea. Like, 
It was like, I wrote a, I wrote a Simpsons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, hey, like, oh, we've got it. We've got hey, it, man. Let me, let me yeah. spice this up. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. No, for sure. Um, but no, I'm totally, I'm very, I'm, I'm with you. On what? Uh, on Michael, Michael Jackson's. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I, you know. I, yeah. I mean, I don't know how you, I mean, he's dead. So yeah, it's also he's also. I, if, but my, I mean, yeah. I want to believe. I definitely want to believe victims. So I'm just hoping it's yeah. not true. But you know, if they did go through some tra- traumatic stuff, regardless of if it was, yeah, physical, you know, it could have been mental, emotional. It could have, I don't know. Still, I, you know, I feel yeah. feel for whoever had any issues. But that's just that's just generations of trauma hitting each other. That's right. Just, that's what it is. That's how it goes. Mm-hmm. What do you think everyone should try once? Not unlike bumper cars, which were at they had bumper cars. They had bumper too. cars. <laughs> Not unlike bumper cars, which they had at Neverland Ranch. That was such a weird segue because you said that and then I'm brought- segueing back. <laughs> I'm segueing back. We're not, I'm not done. Uh, I didn't what? hear. I didn't even hear what the question. What was the question? What do you think everyone should try once? Comedy. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. No, hell no. Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> hell, no. <laughs> hell no. It definitely shouldn't be that. You, you, you mm. don't have to do it. We don't mm. have to do it. Oh. Just try once. And then never again? Well, they can try it again if they liked it, but they should try it once. Try once. Um. Oh. Hmm. Autoerotic asphyxiation. <laughs> It's risky, but you know. <laughs> what? Wait, what is? I don't, it's asphyxiation. I don't. What is that? It's when you put a bl- try choke yourself and. Yeah, I thought yeah. it was okay. Yeah. I don't know why my brain thought that you put like a balloon over your head. <laughs> no. In my, yeah. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, like. Uh, damn. Yeah. No. Put it. Just putting a balloon over I, your head. Or just like, I, you yeah. know, have you, have you, you know how they have like, you ever seen? Like in like I think I guess the mob movies where they put like something or no no actually this is like a magician thing they'll put like yeah. like you see like they'll put like a glove over their head and then it starts oh, yeah. blowing up yeah but I guess like in a horny sense I was thinking that's what you were saying but now, yeah. I I know exactly what you're saying now I don't know something that you should try once uh, I don't know, I got corny answers take take taking a chance on that person that you probably probably are about to skip out on I feel like you know like fall in mm. love with a motherfucker. To me, yeah. like I feel like a lot of people will pass up on someone that they really like just because they are not ready or they are afraid mm. of commitment. And I oh, feel like yeah. that I know a lot of friends of mine yeah. and even myself almost did it uh, where it's like you kind of just get in your own way of being with somebody who probably is really good for you. Are you a, you're a married man. I'm right? married. Yeah. Yeah. How long? Six years. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I got lucky because I feel like I, I got I found a, the per, my right person. Do you have a kid? No kids. No kids? No, not yet. Yeah, but you want to? Maybe. It's one of yeah. those things where if we do, yes, that's great. And if not, I'm not going to feel bad about it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's yeah. really nice. No, thank you. Um, but yeah, no, I think feel, I feel like taking that chance. I feel like when I, I feel like we're all, when we, I feel like that, that, mm, not that you need to be with someone, but it's like when you know you're getting in your own way because of selfish reason, reasons, <laughs> reasons, mm-hmm. uh, I think like trying to subside those feelings and taking a chance on committing because you can always leave, you know. Mm, mm. You can, I, I mean, unless unless you mm. you know unless you have a kid and then you need to be a part of that life for the rest of your life, yeah, or be a deadbeat. But yeah. I, I feel like when I was younger, there were people that I met that I wasn't willing to commit to because I was being too selfish, yeah. And I was like, I don't, I, yeah, I oh, like yeah. I like them a lot. But yeah. I'm not not enough to stick around, oh, and I yeah. feel like you're. I feel like at least for maybe I don't know, young men and women, we're all indoctrinated to kind of just be very loose and and yeah. uh, like kind of like chase chase a never ending. Yes, I don't know. These are the consequences of American individualism. Yeah, and it, because of that, I've fumbled bad bitches <laughs> in my life for sure. Absolutely. Uh, what would constitute a perfect day for you? Oh, perfect day. I don't know. Um, maybe I would say 
couple brews deep, I'm I'm hitting the bowling alley and I'm getting uh I'm getting upwards of a hundred. <laughs> I'm getting upwards of a hundred every time. And but not I'm not gonna say like it's not like three hundred. I'm not get, getting like a perfect game. <laughs> but I got like at least like a couple strikes in a row and uh hit the you know, hit the pinball machine. What's the number you hitting? Like if like over a hundred, like what one? Like one fifty, one one four. Uh, Jack saw me hit a one forty the other day. Is that day. high? I feel like it's like not bad. It's better than like uh, most most people <laughs> average. But most, but not like I'm not like in the league. No, for sure. I'm not like <laughs> nah, you're not. You're not. I'm in the not league like where you need to wear gloves. I'm not <laughs> like that guy. I'm not like that. Uh, what's the what's the big what's the that one video the like? Yeah, I know what you're talking who about. Who do you think you are? Or I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. not that. <laughs> I'm not that. <laughs> I'm not that, but I'm like yeah, if, if at like a casual yeah he's him, <laughs> at like a casual bowling Tuesday night outing. At pins. Yeah, <laughs> um, like I feel like I'm better than like most of my friends who are doing it casually. I feel that until I like you know I know some guys that are like feel, you know, you know, do you have like I'm, friends that are like too nice? I feel like there's a lot of people who they know like how the wax affects like the spin. <laughs> Like uh, the I, I, yeah. I don't know if they get that deep, but I know a lot of people who their sleeper skill is like, oh, I'm nice at bowling. Yeah. And it's like, okay. <laughs> like, like I know friends who are comics. Yeah. Uh, friends of mine who used to, like, play basketball and a bunch of random shit. Like, it was yeah. like, oh, bro, you think I'm nice at this? Oh, I'm really nice at bowling. I'm like, I yeah. don't care. Like, oh, no, I know. it's <laughs> But they'll be really good. And it's, yeah. and it's also weird because they don't know how to play, right. but they know how to get strikes. So they're bowling yeah. hella weird. They're doing their own thing. Oh, yeah. They spin it in a way where it's, like, unnecessary. But I know a lot of people. Who, even me. I can yeah. play. I, I know how to bowl well enough where I've got, like, yeah. I've hit, like, five strikes on a game. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. You know? But yeah. uh, to me, it's such a stupid fucking skill. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, yeah. I, no, I, like, I, I like bowling. Yeah. I like bowling. I was, it's fun. Yeah. One time I was, I was bowling. I was bowling with my girl. <laughs> and I was, I got, I got, like, I don't know. This is like, I was like yipped up. I was a little, <laughs> I was, play, I was playing, with, I was playing with my nose. <laughs> and she like tapped out halfway through the game, mm -hmm. and I was kind of like, well, more for me. And so then, <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm just like, now she's just sitting over there, and I'm just bowling consecutively for for the for both, both of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I've. Yeah, like that was that was a situation where I was I was probably I was behaving selfishly, I think. <laughs> but I <laughs> but but we paid but I paid for the game. So yeah, it's you're like not gonna I'm waste gonna, the game. I'm not gonna waste the game. <laughs> not gonna waste the game. I'm not gonna waste the game. Get your strike game up. Absolutely. I was gonna say, my bad. Uh I need to go put more money in the meter. I think we got you covered. Or did you get me? Cool, yeah. cool. Appreciate you. All right. Bowling. Perfect yes. day for you. Oh shit. Perfect day for me. I feel like I have annoyingly uh, realistic answers. Um, a good day for me is uh, a day where I feel like a good day for me is a day that lacks anxiety, if I'm being real. Yeah. <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm being honest, it's a day where yes. I, I don't have to deal with any bullshit. Mm -hmm. I can just kind of kick it. Like, if, I mean, if I'm going to, like, frame the day, it's like, get up whenever the hell I want. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's, like, anywhere between 11 to 2 in the afternoon because I like to stay up late and work on stuff. I uh, mm -hmm. go and knock out some sh shit in my office, maybe like do a live stream on Twitch or mm -hmm. kick or whatever. Uh, uh, kind of just chill out, eat some food from a spot. Like low key, Erewhon's really good. I'm looking at that. You, oh, uh, I have the the water. I had. They got some bomb ass food, dude, but it's unnecessarily expensive. It's way too expensive. <laughs> Sick, you sixty dollar lunch. Yeah, <laughs> I've had that happen like multiple times, no, and just been like, you're not doing this well you should yeah. not be eating like this um no, sometimes i go there and i'm like it needs to, uh, okay the the parody 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 <laughs> but sometimes i go into erwan and i'm like they need to fucking bomb la <laughs> but parody 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 <laughs> asterisk, asterisk. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah nah you know what i mean though. I, yeah yeah it's it, la yeah. weird uh but yeah i don't know eat food chill play some video games uh my brain was like about to say maybe do comedy but like i don't have to do comedy on a good day yeah, <laughs> like that's, day. that's like a your off day yeah off day this is you know yeah, chilling yeah 
I don't know, mm-hmm. but maybe. Do you have you mentioned anxiety? Or do you want, do you take any? Pills? Unfortunately, no. I don't take any like antidepressants. Like Ativan or anything. Mm-mm, no, I mean I just I I think beta I just, blockers. You've never done that? No, I just work through it. Like I mm. I think I just like therapy and just uh you know if I'm having any type of anxiety or depression, I just try to like acknowledge it, write it down in my journal, and try to remember like you know why am I feeling this way? I mean that's the but like having like a panic attack. Like having like I, I, a, nothing, a like true like nothing. full on panic attack like I I'll I'll break it out. No, I'll break sure. out I would the, definitely if if it was. Yeah. I mean I feel like I may have gotten to that point once or twice. Yeah. And I had mentioned it to my therapist and they said, well here's here's some recommendations if you want to get some stuff to help you like yeah. calm down on stuff like that. Um, but if it's really hitting me hard like that, I just smoke some weed. Like we we mm, will we will like kind of almost yeah not even smoke I like I like edibles but I I would probably like take yeah. take an edible and just try to chill out for the day mm. yeah I can do that at night like a five million yeah I don't like I don't like really doing Camino it in the day. gummy yeah. yeah but yeah I kind of I can't casually smoke it makes me act insane no yeah I don't it makes me act like it I can't smoke crazy. and I can't drink. I was about to say on stage, like I know, I yeah. know people do that all the time, and I'm like, I don't know how. Oh, you like that. functional. No, I just I wouldn't be able alcoholics. to just. Yeah. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. yeah that's after. Mm-hmm. My yeah. dad was a functional alcoholic. My mom told me that a day after he died. <laughs> not, so, not to get dark. That's what uh, she told a day me. after a day after he passed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I was just like, why are you? I, I'm under the impression he's a grown man who knows how to <laughs> uh-huh. knows yeah. his limit, and I'm also under the impression that as as his wife, you're helping make sure he doesn't drink too much yeah but she was just like i can't do what i can do your father he drinks i'm just <laughs> like i'm like bitch aren't you supposed to be his wife like like be his his uh his partner who not that you're trying to yeah. tell him he needs to stop. it's hard it's hard I just, I just know specifically that word functional alcoholism i was just like yeah ah. i just i was like that word pisses me off because that's what my mom she she's a narcissist we, i'm just being honest about my life now. <laughs> um, but um yeah you know it was one of them things where it just uh, cause he died from like a, a stroke or some shit, and he just didn't yeah. take care of his body. And he was a comedian who never stopped working. Yeah, no, I'm a yeah a fan. Um, and it's just one of them things where, like, I to me, I'm just like that is so frustrating because he he's a grown man who, unfortunately, he had to do so much work to uh, care towards her, my brother, and me to a certain point. I mean, I've been independent for like more more or less a, a decade and some change, but. You know, I I, I was just kind of like, well, if you know that he's got alcoholism, why don't you fucking step up and do some shit instead of just yeah. living, it's hard. It is living hard, off though. his money? It is. It's hard to. I guess. I mean, yeah. I, it's definitely hard because pe- hard headed people are not going to change. And I've had com- I used to have conversations with my dad where I would try to help him kind of just be like, hey, man, you want me to come by? And maybe we could like he had a pool. I was like, we could do some swimming or some shit, like anything to get him to do any exercise. Yeah. Because he was active and he right. moved, but he had like a big old gut for no And he was working until the very end. Literally yeah. had a set, I think, in Florida the same weekend. Yeah. Um, but he would always just tell me off because he didn't have the tools to be an adult and be like, yeah, maybe I should work on my health. Because it, it's one of them things where I know for a fact if he did like one year of actually taking care of himself, he could yeah. ha- like add an extra seven of living. Um, but he, but I mean, it's funny as shit, uh, because he's a comic and he just would tell me, tell me off in such a, like, it was a hurtful way, but it was still funny. Like, I remember one time I was telling him like, Hey dad, maybe you, um, you know, maybe pull back on, uh, eating so much red meat or drinking. And he was, and he'd be like, Oh, JD, why don't you go have a goddamn baby with your <laughs> wife so you can leave me alone? <laughs> And I was like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> and I'm and like a part of me is like, "That's such a fucking funny thing to say." Yeah. But also, God, that hurts. You're just, you want me to like go have a kid, so I'm too busy to bother you. That's, <laughs> That's so funny. Oh man, but yeah, yeah. damn, yeah, trauma. What are you gonna do? <laughs> uh, what changes have improved your life so much you wish you did it sooner? Hmm. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know. Um, uh, I don't know. I guess I. I don't know. You, f- you first. <laughs> I I'm, gonna say, I'm gonna say another annoying. Uh, just like I, I, all I do, all I'm doing is advocating for mental health therapy. That's helped me. I, I've been doing it. I've been doing it for like three mm-hmm. or four years. I originally did it to learn how to have a have better dialogue with my wife uh, during yeah. our first year of marriage because it was a little rocky because we both, you know, 
were just first first time living with each other because she's uh, old school. We didn't live with each other prior to marriage, mm. and um, and I think it was one of those things where it's like having communication with her was not hard. I just didn't know how to go about it. So that was my initial reason for going in. But then my dad died like a week before. So then oh, I started, a week I started, before you got before, married. Before no no before my first therapy session. Oh yeah, we yeah. we had already been married for two years. Okay. But, uh, yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But yes. um. But then uh, we started. Then she was like, she recommended therapy because she was going to a therapist. Yeah. And then I scheduled my first therapy session. I think it was like two weeks before he passed away yeah. or something. And then like he passed. And then the first session I was like, well, I got other stuff to talk about now. And then we started talking yeah. about that. But then we made it around to like having conversations about my life and shit and uh, mm -hmm. my marriage and whatnot. But I, I personally just feel like as an adult that I don't think, you know, I don't think it's perfect, and also at the end of the day, it's got it's based off of how much you're willing to put into it. Yeah. So you know, if you're a person who's just like, I don't need it, I don't want it, I don't care, then yeah. you probably shouldn't do it because at the end of the day, you're not yeah. going, you're not going to give it the respect it needs and vice right. versa, so you get something out of it. But I yeah. personally feel like I have grown as a person and am just way better at um, having communication and being empathetic to people and also being just you know uh, hyper aware and cognizant of like if someone else is going through something giving them the space to uh, allow them to process that and not being like yeah. a dickhead and putting myself first so i i recommend therapy to people i'd say uh i've been making eggs there you go <laughs> what kind of eggs you make I like over medium. <laughs> over medium. Over medium. Ugh, I what? Uh, I like scrambled. Scra scrambled. But you, you like it like runny? a nice like scrambled egg. Well, not over, not like sunny side up runny. I like I like all kinds. Over medium. But I, yeah, over Th those medium. Those are like the wet joints, though. It's like they're not runny, but they're kind of. No, there's like some, you, you know, like there's like the yolk. The yolk is there, yeah, but it's yeah. like not. It's you know, it's over medium, so. Um, no, it's not. It's not super runny. Do you like? Do you like, like, I think by I think over medium. Yeah, it's not. It's not super runny. Do you like eggs on your burger? I love it. Yeah, like like a fat burger yeah. does it. Oh, I love not? that. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Eggs on the burger. And I'm big. I'm like, well, yeah. I, I was just gonna say, well, making eggs in the morning and not. I've in general been making my own food a little more. Like I, That's I think good. like a big mistake I was making is like uh, an over reliance on like delivery which is like pathetic yeah it's like it was like one of my most like unbecoming uh, undignified qualities <laughs> <laughs> and now i'm just just sort of like you know making making my own food in the morning i feel like it sets me on the right path but yes burger eggs egg i yeah i am rocking with egg on burger fat burger also specifically like i do think that i'm just like i'm big on i love fat burger yeah, yeah. i think that it's uh Way better than In and Out. I I went there last night because yeah. In and Out, uh, uh, bitch ass In and Out man. I drove up there, yeah. and got in line ten minutes before the joint closed, and they yeah. still didn't feed me. Oh fuck! That shit was shitty. I'm dude. sorry. I, I was yeah. waiting in line, then I got to the window, and the lady is. She's like, "We're closed." Oh, we're closed. And I'm like, uh, I'm like, yeah. we were all in line before whatever time. Right. And then I and then it was funny because she was like, she acted like she couldn't hear me. She's like. I don't know. No, I mean, I, but yeah, but I get it. I like, that's like, that's a, that's a rough position to be in. Cause I don't it's blame like, her. I don't blame her. I, yeah. I want to get off work too. No, I of get course. That. But it was just one of the yeah. things where I'm like, y'all usually chain up the, the entrance. Don't, yeah. Don't allow people to keep going. In. It's a, it's that's a, a weird thing to do. what's your order there? And then out burger. Mm -hmm. uh, I like a cheeseburger animal style mm -hmm. with grilled and raw onions. Yeah. One well done fry and then another burger. Oh yeah, see that's the move is you yeah, gotta them at least soggy fries. Ass. No, because I kind of I was gonna say that I hate In and Out fries. Yeah. But whenever I've said I I do remember people have said, well you gotta if you get the fries well done. You gotta tell them to cook them. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like limp. Because exactly They're like the so default bad. fry there. They're so bad. It's like not. It's like it's. Exactly, like it's soggy and like not. It's Cold. it's somewhere in between like one of those like thin like shoestring fries and like, yeah. but it's not a steak fry, which I I don't, I don't like steak fries, but it is, it just sort of exists in this space that like, I'm I'm not a fan. Their but, like, fries are the yeah. equivalent of Little Caesar's pizza. You got five minutes right to get that shit going. It's like, also if you don't eat yes it within that five yes. minute window. It's it's yeah. Little Caesar's becomes cardboard yeah. and their fries become wet noodles. It's yeah, ass. but yeah. yeah, double I get double double animal style uh, Neapolitan shake. Mm. That's a good move there. Yeah, Secret yeah. menu, Neapolitan <laughs> shake, and the 
Yeah, but I actually, you bring up a good point with regards to uh, eating fast. Eating fast food fast. And that's why I'm against delivery. There's like, all the delivery apps have fast food chains on, you know, Mm -hmm. you can order burger on phone, whatever. It's not, it's never the move. I think no, fast food delivery yeah. is all it's it's a bunch of malarkey. <laughs> if you, if it's you, like it's a bad it's bad. If you're gonna do a delivery app, you gotta actually pay a little extra for a quality restaurant where the food yeah. lasts for an hour. Yes. Like you know, yes. I'll do like But like fast food, you should go to the you establishment. Just go. You should yeah. just go. Yeah. It's like it's and especially it's like that's crazy. Fast unless food the, like, unless the delivery time is like twenty minutes or under. Like yeah. sometimes that's possible. Then that's like a safe window. Mm-hmm, but for sure. I think most of them don't deliver well i got noticed by a person who delivered my food from doordash it was weird as fuck what they, like the person like no, they, they dropped off my you? food saw me yeah and then commented on my instagram like an hour later and they were oh, like yo yeah. how's the food oh no nice. like, that's cool i was like what the fuck is happening? <laughs> And they yeah. were like, yo, where's my tip? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> like and then I fucking blocked them. It was yeah. crazy. Dude. Did you t- do you tip do you tip well on there? I tip five every time. But the I, every time? Every, five dollars every time? Yeah. My wife taught me about tipping because she used to be a server, and it just is one of them things where like it sucks that America has to even do it, but my brain is yeah. just like, I'll always do a five dollar tip. And if it always if it ends up going farther over what I want to spend, I might cut something off of my menu off my order. Mm. Or I'll just figure out a way where I'm just because like the app will start putting in stupid ass gratuity that ain't there. I'm just like, nah, bro, this is they have like a percentage button. Yeah, but they? yeah, there's a percentage button, but the app will start doing the whole like, well, you know, the the fees are well, yeah, that's $30. like the I mean, those that's like that's on them, that's yeah. that's their but the you know, yeah, more or less though, I always do a five dollar tip because I'm not trying to get. I'm not trying to get jumped by somebody on DoorDash or Postmates. I'm just, it's, yeah. Cause they can see that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. How much do you tip if you do tip? I mean, I, I generally tip like 20%. What, like, what, what's a good number? What would you like to say? Like, if let's just well, say, let's 20%. say your meal's 30. Then, is it $6. always six dollars? Yeah. I don't, I always round to five. <laughs> <laughs> to five dollars. No matter what the meal is. Listen, Damn. that meal, well, no, yeah. if, the, if the meal, nah. <laughs> Nah, yeah, because you know why? You know why? Because at the end of the day, I'm just like, yo, no disrespect, my guy. You're just driving. Like, the only issue here is the fact that I didn't want to pick it yeah, up. Yeah, but it is like, it is, like, have you seen, like, Sometimes certain restaurants, like, line. when you, like, there's always, like, the pickup, when, like, there's, like, a pickup line. There's, that. there's like, a whole. I think about that for more I do think it's orders. harder than, yeah. it's harder than we're making it out to be. You think it's that It's hard? also. I don't think it's like I'm not saying it's like I'm not trying to I'm not saying they're the, they're the troops. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that they are the, the troops for this. You food. know, but yeah, but it's like I don't know if I don't know. I mean, it's all it it is like the the act of ordering delivery is so like it it makes me feel like so slovenly and like like it makes me feel like it, it it's such a like NPC act. Yeah, no, I <laughs> where you're that. just yeah. like. I feel like some kind of like fucking bug man. It's <laughs> just like, wow, well, uh, burger yeah. on my phone. Okay, oh, why isn't the sandwich I ordered that's, from my yeah, phone just, here yet? That's the world like, it in. makes me feel like such a like modern piece of shit. Mm-hmm. Like, fucking like, yeah. I so I always I I I like over tip sometimes. I, I definitely just, like, over tip. On- I shouldn't be doing this. No, yeah. I deserve to be fin domed right now. <laughs> I deserve to fin dom myself for this behavior. When I start feeling like that, I will then go pick up the food. Yeah. I'll, no, I'll it, just yeah, be yeah, like, yeah. what are you doing right now? Yeah. You're just chilling. Like, yeah. cause I'm, I'm, I'm always tipping heavy. Trust me, it's, right. it's something I wish our country didn't have to do. Cause I wish they would just put the gratuity in like other countries do. You don't have but, to do it. You don't have to do it in Europe. Yeah. And yeah. then some uh, restaurants out here yeah. have that too. Which but is then nice. they come. But then. But then they come here, and then they're used to <laughs> used to not so like. Uh, oh, that's you know, true, huh? Like, that's interesting. yeah, I'm no, like, how oh, that is. Uh, yeah, like if there's like a French guy here, yeah, like, oh, 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 I don't have to. Yeah, tip. why am I? <laughs> yeah, why, you want money? Yeah, no, you, like you, they're not gonna. Your tip. job pays you yeah. money. That's yeah, interesting. But they don't. Yeah. Not nah, DoorDash, it. baby. Yeah. Or whatever the other yeah. ones are, Uber Eats, all the other ones. Yeah, caviar. Which I one think do you it was, use? Uh, door. I've got Dash Pass. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. I used to be a Postmates person until they got uh, acquired by Uber Eats. 
Did they? Yeah, yeah once I got acquired by Uber, I got, it, just I got, got, it became trash. Maybe I got a... I don't know. I got banned from Postmates a while ago. I don't know. <laughs> What'd you do? What ha- I don't know what happened. Rescinded, rescinded. I don't know what happened, but I had to, like, send them my ID. And <laughs> what? I don't know. It was, like, a whole... What'd you do? Rescind an order? I, or no, something? I don't know. I don't know how this happened. This was in like 2015, <laughs> and I don't. I I never said <laughs> like send them like a photo of my passport or something. Like I had to like email them a photo of my passport, and I was like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> and were you so then I just or were didn't. You ordering? No, I was like ordering, That's and crazy. then I just never. I don't know. It's yeah. Have you seen the videos where the the people will? Uh, say the order never came and then it screws over the the delivery person no you haven't and then and then those delivery people will pull up on the people who lied and they'll be like they'll be like yo this you yeah you you lying (laughs) huh you you lying about me delivering food y'all about to get fired you idiot yeah and then like it'll be a lady a receptionist at like a a, like (laughs) at an office who's just like Oh, like she's, <laughs> like, she's like, like hiding her food. Like they do that to like. Sk- well, they do that to try to get a free meal. To get a free meal. Yeah, yeah. But then that fucks over. Yeah, right. That's yeah. no good. They, I guess they think like, you know, like yeah. in almost an NPC culture, like, oh, well, you're not a real person. You're just right. like, picking up and dropping off food or something. Yeah. No, exactly. Like both parties are like you are all NPCs in this process. Like yeah. it's like not like. But then yeah. we're. But then it's even more meta because we're the ones talking about it right now. Yeah. So now we're like we're yeah. like even deeper layered. With Inception, we come right back to the movies. There we go. Look at that. Uh, favorite <laughs> restaurants. Favorite restaurants and what makes them so good. Oh, I don't know. I like Son of a Gun a lot. Where's that? They've got it's like sort of near like the Beverly Center. Mm. It's like it has like a. It's like mostly seafood, so they have like a you know like a good lobster roll and like that kind of thing. But my favorite food. Is fry is like a fried chicken sandwich. Oh yeah. And they have like all my those, my favorite fried chicken sandwich. Fried chicken or all these knockoff uh, uh, Louisiana joints. No, like fried chi- like a like a classic like fried chicken sandwich. Like this is like sort of before. Wait, when you refer to those, are you talking about like Dave's hot chicken? Dave's hot I'm chicken. Talking about, and I'm talking about all, all the gentrified ones where they took a black yeah. black recipe and then they put it out here. Right, and then they just like put it wide. Yeah, because yeah. Dave's hot chicken is made by like Armenian people. No disrespect. <sighs> right. I remember the first time I went, and my little brother was like, "Dude, you ain't never been to Dave's hot chicken." Yeah, that's how my little brother talks. He's, <laughs> <laughs> he's not from New York, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, no. He's like, yo, we gotta go. And then we went. And then I'm like, oh, this is great. I'm like, this is this is dope. Wonder who's in the kitchen. And I'm like, oh, this is definitely a Louisiana recipe made by people yeah. who are just colonizing it. That's cool. Right. Whatever. Yeah. But I mean, ch- I guess it's chicken. Whatever. What are you going to do? No, but I'm the, no, black, that's, I'm, I'm yeah. the black person on this podcast. I'm going to call this shit out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, please. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah. But like a fried chicken sandwich, that's always really good. Yeah. Yeah. No, for yeah. sure. Um, I don't know. Yeah. What are, what are, was, what's, what's your spot? Like, what are your favorite restaurants? Uh, there's, there's. I like Bowery Bungalow. That's a good spot. Yeah, you've been to, been there. I like, I like out, out here on the West Side or here in L.A. I like. uh, You ever been to Love Baked Wings over there on um, Melrose? No. Yeah, it's bomb. Yeah. I mean, if you ever want like way better, like a way better version of a wing stop or whatever, like just uh, chicken wings, that spot is really good. It's right on the. I forget. It's near. It's near a spot I used to open mic at, but it's uh, right off of Melrose and whatever L.A. between between La Brea and probably the next big street. You got to be Fairfax or something like that. Yeah, that's a good spot. And uh, restaurant wise, there's a um, there's a restaurant out in Westlake that me and my wife like to go to uh, called Coin and Candor. And I really like that restaurant. Called what? Coin and Candor. Ooh, it's a very tasty. It's in the. What it's, are they? It's inside the Four have? Seasons, so it's it's un, it's expensive. <laughs> but what it's kind a, of food? Uh, you know what? I, it's like a I don't know, like a curated chef special type of joint where I can't put a n- name on the type of food. It does. It, it's like they have. They got like maybe like your usual like mm, steak and bird. It's not like yeah. Mastro's though. It's not like that. Yeah. They, you know, they've just got, they got a lot of, like, very unique, like, options. They got, like, this uh, really tasty, like, fried avocado thing with okay. with naan, which oh, is real yeah. tasty. That sounds nice. And then, um, and they have, like, these other side dishes that are really bomb. It's just, it's just a place that yeah. me and her went to on an anniversary one time, and then we yeah. just keep going. That's great. Yeah, it's very tasty. Uh, what's the dumbest thing someone said to you after a show? 
Ooh. After a show. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> I've had people ask me for some reason. Mm -hmm. I've had people ask me for some, they don't understand the difference between. In my opinion, they think hosting a comedy show is not stand up for some reason. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I've had a yeah. Like, yeah they, they think I, they think I'm like not really joke. Like I'm not a part of the show. That it doesn't <laughs> count. Yeah. Yeah they're, 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 yeah. they're they're like yeah. So like, are you gonna be doing like do, <laughs> or someone telling me after after a show specifically? It's like so like. You do this all the time? That's got to be the dumbest fucking <laughs> yeah. question I've ever been asked. Yeah. But the hosting question always throws me off because it's like, oh, you're hosting. When are you, like, performing? Yeah. And I'm like, well, I am mm. performing. Right. So what do you mean? They're okay. like, yeah. Because they, I guess they alluded to, oh, you're like the, I don't know, ling the, the ringmaster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, nah, bro, like, I'm going to be telling jokes. I'm just, like, helping the flow of the show go through. Uh -huh. yeah. And I'm just, I'm, I'm like, it's definitely still stand-up. Uh -huh. Because I think they almost believe that, like, a slot on the show is just a different version of comedy. Yeah. And I, and they're like, do you ever do, like, comp? Like, somebody's <laughs> asked me, have you ever done, do you ever do stand-up, though? Uh, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> And I'm like, I'm doing. I'm, they give me ten minutes to do whatever yeah. the fuck I want. Yes, I'm doing stand up. Right. But and when I and not, I've yeah. been booked on shows, like yes, I'm doing yeah. it there. You know, I think it's yeah. that kind of like lack of knowledge of it, which I I mm. get it. Listen, at the end of the day, I don't think I would be anywhere near a comedy club if I didn't do it. Yeah. Like if I didn't do stand up, right. I'm not fucking touching these. Yeah. Disgusting buildings. I'm not <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I mean, yeah. I, I I just think about it from that. Like anything that I personally. If I don't do it personally, I probably wouldn't have the free time to just dive into it the way I do. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. So stand up. I'm like I'm not hanging out at the comedy club if I'm not a comedy. Guy. It's weird offers to like hang out. Yeah. <laughs> like strangers that like want to hang out. Yeah. Which I don't know. I guess there's some people that do that, but like, you know, like a guy that's like, oh, you want to, want to fucking, want to smoke out of a fucking Sprite gravity bong. <laughs> In my house, while like five of my roommates like make you feel weird, <laughs> like I I don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. And what about you? What's that? What's like the weirdest thing that someone? Said oh, that's what show? I. Yeah, oh, like just weird, said. just like sort of. Yeah, oh, guys, I thought this was just like no, no, like no, like weird, like just sort of like post show, like yeah, yeah. When okay. it when it like crosses, oh yeah, to the, that. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm, when it crosses the weird threshold, they're like, of them okay, to like, become friends and shit. Well, now, well, yeah, let's hang out. Yeah, okay, like, that I is. I don't want to, you know, I don't yeah. want to do that. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Hell no. Yeah, that's a weird turn down. I've had that happen yeah. a few times, especially because, yeah. especially when hosting shows, because they've seen me the entire night. They're like, "Yo, you were great. We had a great time. Yeah. What are you doing? What, yeah. what, are we, what are you doing after this?" I'm yeah. like. I'm going home. Like, yeah. <laughs> there's no yeah. like this for the for you. I guess our 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 careers is a pregame. I'm not like it's in the mood to kick. You know, it. the transaction yeah. is ended. Yeah. This is a transactional relationship. Yeah, and we yeah. What pisses you off instantly? In general. In general. Um, let's say, um, injustice. <laughs> Nah, he's lying. He's lying. <laughs> <laughs> you being a fake ally right now. <laughs> so, it pisses me off. <laughs> you got that black square joke, too. Say, That's even funnier. I would you say said injustice that. in all forms. <laughs> <laughs> this little character is how I feel right now. About <laughs> I got like, there's like a little, <laughs> little black dude with a beret on, <laughs> like a black panther, like, take. <laughs> Tell the truth, white man. Stop lying. <laughs> that's so funny. I don't like motherfuckers who drive bad. That's that's what I don't oh, think. It pisses yeah. me off automatically. I'm like an old man. I didn't realize I was like an old man when I drive. Yeah. My wife, she won't comment on it, but she'll agree if I ever call it out. I will awkwardly be driving, and if I see anything that is just a little awry, I'm just like, look at that. Look at that over there. <laughs> but are you a road rage guy? Mm, I can, I can, <laughs> yeah. get, I can get frustrated with people who are behaving weirdly on the road. Yeah. I, I won't cause a road rage incident, right. but I will respond to someone who's being a dickhead. But yeah. not to a point where, like, we're both chasing each other down and somebody gets out of the car, bumps a car, or someone pulls a gun. I'm not doing that. Yeah. But I, I, <laughs> but I have, like, rolled down my window and, like, said, shut the fuck up. Like, I've done I've Yeah, done yeah, that. yeah. But I'm, but I'm talking about being a person who 
sits back and like just passively watches poor driving yeah and then comments on it <laughs> like i'll just be in my car and when i see like a car s- like s- go or something yeah. with no blinker i'm just like huh Look at that right there. They are crazy. Like, I, I don't know why yeah. <laughs> I comment on it. And then I'll tell my wife, and I'm like, sorry, my bad. I'm being an old man. She's like, no, listen, hey. Yeah. You're just doing your thing. <laughs> All right, yeah. last question. When was the last time you cried of laughter? Ooh. Oh. Laughter. Good question. Ooh. Fuck. Um... Oh, like cried of laughter. Let me think. Oh, I don't know that. Did you see that officer, officer delicious? <laughs> no. <laughs> Have you seen this? This is. <laughs> I I feel like this is like the last thing that like made me laugh like, like a lot. That one clip, the clip of uh here. I gotta go back to me and me and Jamel's DMs. Cause this is wait, yeah. This is like this. This shit. Wait. <laughs> wait the, the like cop with like a lollipop. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> Where is that? Yeah, New that's York good. Or that was DC. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, that's DC. Yeah, we gotta pull up that clip. Off, just type yeah, in Officer <laughs> Delicious. It's, it's, yeah. it's a cop licking a lollipop. <laughs> it's, <laughs> and, it's like, look and at it, my man, Officer and Delicious. It's definitely, it's definitely black people in DC said, calling <laughs> him out. Like, look at him. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Sweet, huh? Yeah. Sweet, my boy. Because, he that said, was funny. he said, my nickname's Candy Man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was yeah, funny because really the good. officer, you could hear him getting called out. He's like, yeah. all right, calm down, everybody. Let's yeah. say, hey. And he's, but he didn't put the, he didn't no, throw he it didn't away. put it away. Nah, he secured no. his masculinity. Uh, it was, he was crazy. Still sucking on that yeah. pop. That was no, funny. no, yeah. It is. I mean, it is crazy to be a cop. And <laughs> <laughs> you can't. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, you, you can't. Get no breaks. Yeah. That's it. That was very funny. I'm. I don't. But the last time I cried, like that was like the last. Like clip that made me laugh a yeah. lot. Um, I, I feel like I'll be on TikTok in the middle of the night watching videos, and my wife's sleeping, and when one like a video that catches me off guard, and I start laughing, I'm like oh, like I'll laugh on. I like sometimes I accidentally laugh out loud while everybody's yeah. quiet, and I'm trying. I'm like oh, <laughs> trying to hold it in. Yeah, I don't know what specific video would make me do that, but. I don't know. The last Wait. time I was crying laughing, probably with like my personal friends, like them, yeah, like hanging out with my homies and shit, like yeah. That. What was like the last? Like I'm trying to think of like a movie scene that made me like cry. Laugh. I guess like Borat one, oh, when word. they're like, um, when they're like f- fighting and they're naked, yeah, <laughs> and he's got like the. You know. I feel like a, I feel like a, I feel like a scene in Superbad probably made me do that once or mm. twice or Clerks or something. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I, my favorite Kevin Smith is Dogma. Probably. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, crying laughing. That's I don't. I be crying laughing with my homies, man. Just yeah. like them saying goofy ass shit or going off on like a random tangent, trying to like prove a point, and I'm just like, yo, this is you're missing the mark, but this is hilarious. Mm. Yeah, I think that's it. All right, thanks for doing the show. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, yeah, this is this is this is great. Yeah, <laughs> nice to see you. Uh, all right.